Hello, it is almost the official start of spring and I do like to design a reading list around a new season because I think there's a special pleasure when the weather outside matches the reading experience in some way. And for me, spring is all about things coming back to life. So a lot of these books uh, deal with the natural world and the environment in some way, although some of them, the, the titles or the covers remind me of spring in some way, or they're just books that I've been meaning to get around to reading. So I'd love to know if you're also interested in reading any of these books that I'm going to talk about, or do you have any particular titles that you're hoping to read uh, during the spring season? So to start off with, there is a book of short stories with spring in the title of the Springs of Affection by Maeve Brennan. And these are short stories set in Dublin, and uh, most of them revolve around three different Irish families. And uh, Maeve Brennan is an author that kind of came back to prominence. She was um, working during the, the 20th century. She died in the early 90s, and then her writing had a bit of a revival where this um, collection was actually pu published posthumously, and um, a lot of of writers um, really regard her work and this actually this edition actually comes with an introduction by Anne Enright and I just love Irish writing and I think uh, a lot of these stories have a kind of melancholy quality to them and that's really my vibe. The Rain Heron by Robbie Arnott who's an Australian writer and this is described as an eco fable uh, it's about a woman who lives in solitude uh, out in the, the wilderness or in relative solitude. Um, she lives pretty independently um, after a, a coup um, changed her country. And um, she meets a soldier who is on a mission to find a legendary creature. And uh, so it's about their interactions with each other and going on this mission and exploring the natural world. A Green Equinox by Elizabeth Maver. I partly picked this book because it begins in the spring and it follows its protagonist throughout a few different seasons. Uh, so it's about a woman who's an antiquitarian bookseller, um, which immediately <laughs> grabs my attention. And she lives a relatively quiet life um, until she um, has an affair and then she discovers a a passion for another woman. And uh, so this was first published in the 1970s. Um, it was republished last year by Virago Books. And I think it sounds so fascinating. Another book that was recently republished is Sheep's Clothing by Celia Dale. Uh, this was first published in 1988. And part of the reason I picked it, this is so tenuous, but on the inside, there's this lovely uh, purple color. And that just makes me think of Eve Easter, but um, the, the subject matter of the story really isn't anything about spring in that it follows two women who were in prison and when they are released um, they become carn artists together. Um, they, they cheat people out of their money um, pretending to be part of um, social services and so um, it's following uh, this very like tense situation and um, this story of greed but also this surprising developing romance. My Father's Garden by Hansda Salvendra Shekhar. This is a novel about a young doctor following him throughout half his life as he tries to find love and he wrestles with his sexuality and tries to deal with familial expectations upon him and about his relationship with his father who obsessively keeps a garden. So it's about the natural world in that way. And I just think it has a beautiful cover. The Harp by Megan Hunter, a member of my online book club, reminded me recently that I've been meaning to read this novel because I loved Megan Hunter's uh, debut book, The End We Start From, which was also made into a film recently, a very good film recently. And uh, this novel is about a woman who has a seemingly happy uh, family life in that she works from
from home, she cares for her children. But one day, a man comes to her and says that his wife is having an affair with her husband, and so they plot together to get their revenge. And so it's about how she transforms over time while this is occurring. By the way, aren't these flowers really lovely? I'm so lucky that my husband always makes sure that we have fresh flowers in our home. The Love of Singular Men by Victor Herringer. Uh, this was lent to me recently by Bob the Booker, um, who rates it really highly. Um, it's a story of two young men in Brazil in the 1970s who have an affair with each other and develop this deep passion for one another. But then a violent event um, changes everything in their lives. So it's about the larger politics of the country in Brazil. Um, uh, but also um, about a very tender love story. It's also published by Perini Press, who publish excellent short books. Another book published by Perini Press is Faces on the Tip of My Tongue by Emmanuel Pagano. And this is a collection of short stories, um, all revolving around a French village, um, following different points of view of uh, different members of this community. And uh, a member of my online book club um, strongly recommended this book recently to me and uh, it's been sitting on my shelf for ages so I really ought to get to it. Under the Rock by Benjamin Myers uh, which has a really beautiful colorful cover and uh, this is uh, about the author uh, exploring the natural environment around him and writing about it. I've read a number of fictional books by Benjamin Myers and he writes about the environment in such a powerful and beautifully poetic way. Um, so I'm so eager to see um, what he makes of it in his nonfiction. And finally, there's a collection of poetry I've been meaning to read, which actually tracks over four different seasons, so it seems appropriate to start this at the beginning of the year. And it's called The Heating uh, by Rob Cohen with illustrations by Nick Hayes. And uh, this is set in the year 2020, um, which of course changed a lot of things for a lot of us um, over the course of that year and throughout the pandemic. And it's poetry that's exploring the, the natural environment around us. Um, so many of us you know, became much more attendant to our surroundings because we were so locked in our homes. And there are some really gorgeous and vivid drawings in this. I mean, look at that, it's so beautiful. So I would like to read this like slowly over the course of the year. I'm just picking out a poem poem to read every morning, every now and then. So those are some of the books that I'd really like to read over the next few months over the course of spring. Uh, so do let me know uh, if you're interested in any of these books as well, or if you have any books that you are hoping to read over the spring season. And I hope you're doing well and reading good things. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.